Hello, world! Dave here, and welcome back to Let's Play Penny Arcades on Range Like Precipice of Darkness, Episode 4! And we are in a war zone, in case you have forgotten! Oh dear god, here we are again. Well, at least they actually remember to remember the rival gang this time, unlike uh, Cthulhu Saves the World, where it's like, alas, where they had them in the beginning, they were going to be a major part of the plot, and they was like, oh, uh, we forgot about these guys. Joke battle! At least we're actually getting a nice variety of enemies here. Uh, question though. Good, not a joke battle. I'll let you listen to the music this time, although it's probably going to be drowned out by gunfire. Okay, this song is stupidly cheesy, and I'm actually giving it a listen. Holy crap! I like I like a decent video game soundtrack every now and then, but uh, whoa, what what the hell? Yes, yes, I get it. Just shut up, please. At this point, I'm just, I just want to finish this battle as fast as I can, because this is just... Ow! Thank God that's over with. I, I'm be glad that they'll be actually making repeat appearances. It's not I should show that to a boy to learn from their mistakes. Albeit there's the issue of them getting beaten in the middle of a war zone where they're likely to get shot at. Yeah, whatever. We got through with them, so let's continue on. Hopefully they'll end up as allies or something. That'd be that'd be interesting to say the least. Although I imagine this is just more interns. Oh, okay, proofreaders. These guys are new. But, uh, all the same, they all die to... They all are weak to soul leaders, so we'll just go oh, ahead with the... Uh, it's just making sure that we can, uh, delay... Let's see, who's got the most... Yeah, we'll delay this guy for a bit. And soul leader, I have no idea what element they must... The soul leader must be. It doesn't even say. But somehow it tears reality a new one and is able to actually deal massive damage to these uh, to these uh, soldiers here. Maybe it... Didn't they say something at the beginning of the game about there being like a fourth element or something like that? I don't know why that just... I just thought of that. It's probably nothing, you know. It's probably just mindless conjecture. I don't know 
why I even thought of it. It's probably, yeah, it's just... Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain, that's what I say. Meanwhile, these bastards are just, uh... Well, I think this... I think all we can say is that this battle is going to be relatively quick and painful. I have no idea what is causing, uh... What is causing, um, I philosophy just take repeated damage, but, uh... Well, honestly, it doesn't matter too much. Was it something I equipped? And I changed, I finally got around to changing my, uh, oh, it's a Briar Orb. That makes sense. Eh, if I find a better orb, or I'm sure I will, eventually. Makes me actually wonder, is there anything here? Hmm. Well, no, we don't. Well, if I were to find a better better gun weapon for one of these guys, I would not be opposed to... Well, a better magic weapon for for uh, our philosophy there. I mean, he has a staff and tome master, so one of those would be nice. Preferably a tome, but, eh. On the other hand... You probably don't need that as much as this guy does, I don't think. Actually, huh. The Briar Orb actually provides a substantial amount for given the drawback there. Well, maybe I'll just let it be. Maybe. Ah, this guy must be the editor-in-chief. Little story, huh? Is the Necrowombicon somehow written by the Bras? Well, then again, he, uh, they apparently teach a course about the end of the world, so... Mm. Yeah. Yeah, he he's pretty much considered a heretic among, um, among the bras now, especially considering that he is using this see using his cor the corpse of his of his niece as a seed to bring about some new world. Yeah. Well, we got this guy to deal with here, and uh, I'm half tempted to just to maybe. Switch back to the switch back to the our favorite uh, our favorite Twit and Caspi pair, but eh, I think we can make do as long as we ma give the right preparations. So as per usual setup here, uh, let's go ahead and obscure his vision. I'm sure by the time his turn comes around, he'll be properly interrupted. Then again, he actually seems a little slow. So yeah, we'll just hide under the fridge. Get Pontificus going to boost everyone's magic. A a bit of positive thinking, so that way we can get some repeated heals going here, and uh, we'll s summon our favorite skeleton. Ouch! Poor Philosophy, already t feeling a bit of pain here. So why don't we go ahead and give him and give him a little bit of love and. Uh, I want to hug everybody, but that's not necessary, so we'll just, uh, use a good old ice charter. Was that overkill? Possibly. Do I care? Not really. Uh, so, let's just go ahead and, uh, get... The biggest issue with, uh, using... With, uh, Brood Axe here is just the whole fact of the matter is that... He has so much going on and so little to do, so let's see here. Who's magic? Weak mat. Well, you know, he's got enough MP that it, it's kind of ridiculous. How did that even get... 
how did he even get that much MP? I'm guessing Briar Orb. There must be a lot of effects in that thing. Which would explain the very significant drawback. So, you know, we'll just dance crazier? Rewrite, huh? And that summons more and that summons more of those retcons. Oh, that's uh, obnoxious to say the least. I could try to kill it, but I think it's just easier to focus on the to focus on or focus on the uh, yeah focus on the re on the editor. Besides, it's going to be weak to Soul Eater. And as long as I keep just gusting him with wind, I'm sure this will be a relatively quick battle here. A Oh, you just defend for the turn. And one obscure on the retcon? Yeah, we'll try to see if we can't obscure the retcon. It probably won't go. But, uh... Well, at least it speeds things up a bit. Scare pr Let's see if uh, Scare Prisk can't do some decent damage here. And keep going with the dances! Seriously, Philosophy has stupid amounts of MP. Huh. Majored in war, you say. Eh, yeah, war never changes. But first thing I want to check here is uh, there must be a bunch of skills for him that give him extra MP right now. Bunch of passive skills? No, not really. Being trained by Mora, so that would actually help a little bit with the cunning, but... Beyond that, where is all that extra MP coming from? I should really be using Wind Boost more for him, but, uh... Oh, wait. Actually, now that I think of it, he is using Talisman, so that helps a lot. If I were to replace that with... Uh, I don't have anything that boosts Wind. So, yeah, we'll just leave the Talismans. And hopefully we'll find a town... Well, I'm sure there's a town at the base of this tower. There's always a town at the base of the tower. No, I, actually, that wasn't true. That, that wasn't the case with Jake Drusil. So, yeah, that's me being a blatant liar there. Do not go... If uh, you're actually using this as a guide somehow, well, I apologize for for not being able to show you all of Jake Drusil, but number one... do But no, number one... And number two, do not assume there is a town at the base of Jake Drusil. That will just lead to much pain. Well, I guess the Biblioteca is our final tower that we have to take down. Huh. It's actually the kind of the same sci-fi world as that was in that one fault. As with the Brood Axe. Should come to think of it, wasn't the that makes me wonder about the other worlds from that vault? Yeah, what are you hiding there? Why does that look like Jim? Oh, whatever. We got a bu we we can take care of these guys without too much problems. Without too many problems, I'm sure. So we'll just uh. Get out the... get out, let's see. Oh, we'll obscure the cat's vision, and then, uh, swordcraft, and probably just, uh, some wind magic to kind of blow things over. And he'll... Yeah, it is a little strange here when you think about it. It's probably nothing, though. It's probably just me being paranoid. You know. I have a tendency. I have my tendencies.
But yeah, this does seem strangely familiar. Sir, there must not... There can't be a connection, can't there? Well, I'm just gonna finish... I'm just gonna take out one or two fights here, and then we'll call it a day here. But first things first. Metadroid? Nope. Never. Uh, a blizzard and a bit of eternal punishment, and that should be enough to probably peel heal these guys down to nothing. Oh, that Metadroid is actually obnoxious as hell. Stupidly sturdy at that, so... Can't get any good interrupts in, and, uh, well... I guess we could just try uh, obscuring the Hollow Knight for a bit. And one Soul Eater should be enough to kind of finish up a few things around here. And from here on out, it's probably just basic attacks. Especially considering the fact that, you know, that there's not actually going to be any way to actually do... to actually do regular damage to him. Well, a reasonable amount of damage. I honestly think I should probably just switch it, switch in Twin and Caspi here. You out. Bring in the Broden. Yeah, that will probably work just as well, honestly. See if we can at least uh, stall for some amount of time. Or that could do that. That works too. Of course, you get out, you get back in, and I need to actually find some better orbs or spells or something here. And one la last party for the day. One last battle for the day. These guys probably should... No, that's not what I meant. These guys probably shouldn't be that difficult. Albeit, they are sturdy. They are relatively sturdy, but I think it will be just fine here. So, one blizzard. One eternal punishment. And call out the call out the old skeleton. And then we could probably just waste whittle these guys down. Yeah, it's probably it's probably going to be a very quick and painless fight, I would say. Surprised at how effective ice is against these guys. Cats be now has. Hug everybody and control burst from the Brodent. Huh. Let's see here. I am actually really just going to look over those new skills very quickly here. I mean, I mean, well, we know Flame Sphere. I'm glad he's learned to hug everybody. That'll help in bit when he need him to heal. Control burst. Ah, this one. Right, like we'd ever use that again. Really, the quick study is what has me interested here. Magic stat becomes equal to speed stat. Wow! I think we have a nice new pairing to go with here. Yeah, that actually makes me really tempted to actually try that with, uh, with Broden here. I mean, the interrupts were nice, but let's be honest here, he it feels like that there's some kind of mage that wants to be made here, but it isn't just getting hasn't quite been able to get there. I mean, 
all these magic attacks, and he's got such poor magic stat. It's like, they wanted to do something there. I think I'm just going to go ahead and try to make that so and see if I can't get there. How much does it cost? 2 MP. Damn. Well, at least, uh, at least absorption is, uh, available on for, to make that happen a lot quicker. And he seems to be relatively capable of speed, eating up when... Well, I can actually equip him with some shoes. Or actually, come to think of it. Well, if we're gonna actually start bringing him out again... No, we want we want the mining. We probably want the brazuka. I mean, if he's actually going to be used as a mage, as weird as that sounds, I'm going to give it a shot. It'll be it'll be iffy, I'll admit. But you know, if I can actually get a controlled magic and controlled burst to do huge damage. Well, oh, well, maybe something will happen there. Maybe. Well, we'll give it. Uh, like I said, I'm willing to give this a shot. Until next time, everyone. I'm Dave. Take care.